Hello, Scorpio. This is going to be a bonus reading for you for August. August 2019. And as you know, it will not resonate with all Scorpios. But this is for Scorpio. The energy is coming in for Scorpio. Those born on the zodiac sign of Scorpio. For latter August 2019. Bonus reading. Five card spread. New energies, possibly. Positive energies. As you know, will not resonate with everyone. But let's see what we got going. King of Cups. Why are you feeling out of sorts, Scorpio? Why do you feel like your emotions are kind of all over the place with the King of Cups? For some of you, you can also be dealing with another uh, water sign. But is the King of Cups in reverse? Starting out in the latter part of August, something, maybe something upset you. In the past, you, you were doing some giving and taking with somebody with the Six of Pentacles. Someone maybe was trying to work with you or you were trying to work with them. The obstacle is the King of Rods. could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Current environment. Knight of Cups. You possibly uh, going to make an offer or have made an offer or someone may make an offer to you with the King of Cups in the upright or Knight of Cups in the upright. Mm. The Knight of Cups in the upright is a very good card for, for a water sign. Um, they're very giving, loving, and um, people generally like them. They really do. And uh, also, when I see um, the Knight of Cups, it's like I know I'm going to get something good coming in for me when I get that in my readings. Outside environment, five of pentacles, someone's trying to come out of um, not having enough, abandonment, neglect. Maybe they're afraid they can't pay their bills and they're trying to come out of that. That's the outside environment. It could be what you're wanting from the outside environment, someone to help you with this. But a tower situation occurs. Ooh, something unexpected. Always like these readings. They're always interesting. And you know, I'm going to clarify and I can change it all up. But there's a tower situation at the end. Something good is coming in, but then something sh shocking happens. Something unexpected. Something unexpected. Now in the past, you got the Six of Pentacles, about giving and taking, like I said. I mean, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, or someone tries to help you, or, you are, or you're asking for help, or you're helping somebody. So the Six of Pentacles in the upright, in the past for Scorpio, why you there in the past? For August 2019, so this already happened. And you were celebrating, you were having fun, you were, you were enjoying yourself, maybe um, hanging out with people, talking with people. So Six of Pentacles in the Upright, Three of Cups in the Upright, while you're there for Scorpio in the past. High Priestess, maybe you weren't, you're weren't you unsure about you know helping or taking help from somebody with the High Priestess in reverse. Maybe you feel like your intuition is not um, telling you something right or you're not sure and you can't clue it in. The obstacle is the King of Rods. The King of Rods is in the upright, but it's an obstacle for you. Again, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why are you there? King of Rods in the upright for Scorpio. And messages. You're not getting messages across. Maybe you're not understanding the King of Rods or the King of Rods is not understanding you with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Like messages are getting crisscrossed or not even coming in. So the King of Rods in the upright, Eight of Wands in reverse while you're there. For Scorpio is an obstacle. Eh, you're afraid you may not be able to get what you're wanting from this King of Rods or overall contentment from them, or they feel this way from with you, you know? It's just an obstacle. You can overcome obstacles, Scorpio. Now the current environment, someone's offering somebody something. Somebody may be offering this to you, even though it's the Knight of Cups. Usually you're the Knight of Cups. Or, you know, somewhat like it. Knight of Cups is a really good card, like I said. Offering good things, loving things. Things that help people. With emotion, with their emotions in check. They're like, I call them the feel-good people. And also, like I said, it's like good omens. So, Knight of Cups in the upright. Oops, that one's come out. Yeah, they're, they're trying to come out of feeling trapped, mentally trapped for some reason. Or they're trying to get you out of that situation. 
Or maybe this is why you're going towards somebody to become out of entrapment. So the Knight of Cups in the upright, Eight of Swords in reverse while you're there for Scorpio is the current environment. You may get an offer. Someone may help you. Yeah, I think someone's going to help you come out of entrapment, Scorpio. But something happens at the end or someone's attempting to. Because you get the Eight of Swords and you get the Five of Cups both in reverse. And it's about the dis Disappointment card, the reverse card. But it's not all bad. What that card is that someone just looks at the negatives in life and doesn't see the positives in the situation. So, like I said, it could be either way where someone's offering you something, you're offering somebody something. It could be may maybe both because I'm dealing with a lot of Scorpios here. Outside environment is the Five of Pentacles. Someone's trying to come out of not having enough. Someone's trying to come out of um, feeling neglected, abandonment. You know, with this card, I see with some people, like, they can't pay rent sometimes. Or they feel like, um, you know, they can't make a car payment. They may lose their job. They may feel that way. Like I said, or just not have enough, and they feel like there's no help. But with the Five of Pentacles, there's always... Um, a situation where they can get out of it there's always a remedy and one of those is there's always help if you go looking for it if you go asking for it you know from other people sometimes you need help from others but the five of pentacles in reverse while you're there for scorpios what is coming towards them or the outside environment so it could be very well you helping somebody out work someone's working towards something someone's hard at work at least so you may be helping somebody out or somebody may be helping you out, like I said. So the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in the upright, hard work, working. At least it's in the upright. It's, it's work, actual work. So actual work can come in. Maybe someone's going to offer you some work or you're going to offer them work. So Five of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Why are you there for Scorpio? What's going on? And someone's kind of a hermit. This person, if you're trying to help them, is a hermit. Because I'm seeing this as an outside environment coming towards you. They don't they don't talk much. They don't get out much. People don't see them much. And they keep their thoughts, like I said, to themselves. In the end, there is a tower situation occurring. Now, this is going to get interesting because I have no idea what it is. It's an event that leaves the situation changed. Okay? Sometimes, you know, I don't know. It depends on what the next card is. But it's like a rebuilding you know, you have to rebuild something. So the tower in the upright while you're there for Scorpio in the very end. Page of Wands. You're going to hear a message. You're going to hear a shocking message from somebody. I don't think it's going to happen to you because a message a message is coming to you. Well, maybe it is. I, I got to have another card. But this can be, again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A message coming from someone that leaves a situation changed that kind of shocks you. It's, it's a surprise. So the tower in the upright, page of wands in the upright. is the final outcome. Why are you there for Scorpio? Why are you there for Scorpio? Oh, how odd. The Hierophant. Hmm. Hmm. I need another card for that one, too. The Hierophant could be contracts, marriages, funerals. Con like I said, contracts of some sort. Something of the status quo, religion. But it's in reverse. So something occurred that had to do with what, what one time was stable. So you're going to hear about something. It came crashing down in some way. I need another card. The Tower in the upright. Page of Wands, Messenger, and the Hierophant in reverse while you're there. For Scorpio in the very end. You're going to hear a message that's going to leave you surprised. About the Queen. Yeah, it's going to, it's not telling you much. This could be you or it could be another water sign. You know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it could leave your emotions kind of all unchecked. I need another card. I can't leave you like this. Oh, the tower in the upright. Page of Wands in the upright. The Hierophant in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse while you're there. You're going to hear something. So far, two want to come out and we'll let it. Huh, someone's making a choice on something. They may give you an offer. Or you may have offered them something. They may turn it down. I'm not sure. Or because someone's in a situation, you may offer something and they may not like it, but someone's going to have to make a choice. 
uh, what should tell me more? Um, it has to do, like I said, it could be like um, contracts. It could be marriages, um, dissolvement of marriages. Um, sometimes, you know, someone passes away. And you may hear about it with the Queen of Cups. It may leave you this way, kind of unnerved. And someone, for some reason, may make you offer. You may make them an offer. And no one's accepting, but someone has to make a choice in something. So you're going to have to make a decision with the message you're going to hear. And you may not like having to make this choice, but it looks like you're going to have to. Whatever happens, you are going to come in anxiety over. It's not going to last. It's going to be something quick. I don't think it's going to be necessarily happen to you, but a choice needs to be made. Maybe it's a person from the outside, for sure. It very well could be that. I'm thinking, because you're hearing a message about something that went amok, you know, a contract, marriage, you know, maybe someone passed on that leaves you kind of off, but now you you have to change your situation. You got that Nine of Swords. You are coming out of anxiety with the Nine of Swords, with the Queen of Wands, who's upset. So I'm thinking it has to do with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that's kind of messed up in reverse. One more card. Let's push, let's rock the boat here. Yeah, and you move on from troubled waters, so it's going to work out. It's going to work out, but man, it's going to shock the hell out of you. Whatever's coming, you're going to hear a message. Leave it in the comments if this resonates with you, if this is happening to you. You don't have to go into personal detail. Please do not, because I don't like people um, telling all their details. I can't believe I didn't put all this in there. There you go. So you do move on from troubled waters, but a decision needs to be made, and it has to do with the Queen of Wands. Can you see all that? I'm trying to get it closer where everybody can see the cards, and I just end up messing it up. But I gotta put this card. I gotta put this reading out because it is a first energy. If I keep on, you know, doing it over and over again, it won't make sense with anybody. But just know that you are getting a message about a shocking event. But it looks like you got your good head on your shoulders, and I see you kind of helping somebody out. Someone that you feels that don't have enough, or maybe you feel like you don't have enough, but you're going to hear, like I said, something coming up. But it does work out. I do see you moving on from troubled waters, or somebody does around you with the Six of Swords in the upright. So that is your reading. And I will, you know, I, I gave you one for September. I got to look at that. You do help somebody out in the September reading. So check this September reading, okay? And I'm going to let that go, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.